Welcome to Red Dead Online. This is your last come out in here. And I went ahead and started on my character and I think I have him all done. Done this. Just made a just a tired old man just wanting to take his claim on the world. His name is Ashby Berkeley. So we're going to select this guy and get at it. Fine. Go and get your picture took. Bring your hands up onto your chest. All right, let's play this intro. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's aid staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moved! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moved! You! You! You with the hammer! And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Rhodes. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You like to stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. That's not much of an animal, but... 
I haven't got far to ride. Ready? <laughs> Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up and those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were, came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. He's just up here. There's the camp. Get your horse. It's been a while since you saw a hitching post, huh? This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. All right. Let's see what they want us to wear. Well, I guess it's going to be right there. What else we got? Coats. Gives a choice. We have to wear the coveralls or overalls. Spurs.
That looks more comfortable. I need to see a Pardon. shirt in that. Did I miss Here, it? Madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife. Society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you, better than most of his ilk. Cripps! Get up! Oh, hello, partner. Horley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps, at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Okay, let's see where we're going to be living. Let's go to the bayou. Oh, sir. While Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Okay, let's go Get on to the station. meet, what is that guy's name at the uh, post office, I can't remember. Let's go meet him on our scrawny nag. Yeah, I think I forgot to put a shirt on. I don't remember seeing it, but I've never not had one, so I guess I just missed it. Our character is just a 
an old fella who was just uh, don't mind his own business when he got arrested and his plan is to keep doing the same thing just mind his own business but we do have to a loyalty now uh, for getting broke out of prison and not killed so we'll definitely do the missions and and so forth Hello. You must, uh... You must be a Harley's friend. He's one of us. He said you also were a discouraged man. I'm very discouraged. Disappointed, Alden. That's me. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. By the way, I heard you might want to earn a little money. Well... Some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up at Blue Water Marsh. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if all works out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help a fellow sufferer with pertinent information. Good afternoon, sir. Well, thank you, Alden. Or should I say discouraged, Alden? So on this let's play, I definitely would like to have particip participation. I uh, don't know if anybody's ever going to see this, but if you're out there and you're one of the ones that's going to view this, you know, hit the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I know how to play the game, but I don't know everything to do. And it'd be nice to have some guidance and someone help me out and advising me. I like for it to be a true let's play and it'd be nice to have some folks to tag along and and just tell me tell me what I like to see and we'll go see if we can do it. But the first thing we gotta do is go to Bayou Nava. I think that's how you say it, or Noir. And just see what's going on there. Okay, where is this place at?
Okay, there it is. We'll leave the horse right here. All right, let's go see what's going on. Okay, there's three people there, two there and one just walked by. by that white tent. chance fighting like that. I got my mouse and still just set up too high. I was really all over the place. I have no idea why I picked him up. Is his hat better than mine? given to me as a gift. I should keep it. Okay. Okay. You're good. You're real good, friend. Here. Take this. It's a map. Just be kind. Don't kill me, please. Let's see what's in this camp. Okay, how far is that? Hmm. Not too far. We're over here. Let's uh, loot this camp and go get a treasure. see anything here. safe. I think 
think there's one person I forgot to loot I didn't see in here. Got me a dime. Sure left it out. He could find it, didn't he? There's a dead man there with a prison suit on. Seem out about a horse, I believe. Oh, okay. We get our ability card. seem mad about a horse. Let's cut across country here. We are recent escapees. rabbits. We need it later.
Here we go. be kind of fun to do this on our own. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it'd be a, a challenge. Looks like we're by ourselves. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> Did Horley send you, Pop? I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out in roads with a bunch of horses they stole off of me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was gonna steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Looks like you're doing this on your own. Well, good. Meet me at the stable at San Beni once you have the horse flesh, and I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive. All right, gentlemen, that was fun. So let's go get a horse. I don't know how hard this is going to be by herself, but we'll find out in just a moment. So in roads, huh? That's not too far away. Leave a horse here. Hey, 
dang gun, I couldn't see him for the glare. All right, let's go finish this off. Yeah, glare was bad. Couldn't find him. See anything? shot, but I don't mind shooting. pretty but here we are in Santa Nice we get a red horse it's a nice horse or it's a, maybe it's black no it's deep dark red I like it about you dead right ain't that dandy get that horse hidden away clive and ready to move out as soon as we can i think that is a black horse here's the money you earn now listen horley came by and gave me a message he said to go see your friend crips up at your camp now listen to me for a second any other decent horses you find we'll buy them just as soon as we are set up okay nice meeting you you know what hold on boy I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. All right, horses. And I don't know if it's a male or female. So 
Until we know, we'll call him Jack. We'll get horse insurance. And I'm guessing we need a horse care package. Cost money. Okay, here's what it is. I should have seen if it was different prices, but that's okay. Syrups, we're fine with what we have for now. For now. And yeah, everything else is fine. Let's go see Crips. Hey, partner. What's wrong with you? There ain't nothing wrong with me. Stretch your legs and give me some running. Sierra camp up there on the right. Hello, Crips. and pop that. I'd like to pop him, slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, <laughs> place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg, and I'd rather work. Oh, uh, I saw uh, Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with 
employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you uh, listen to him, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I used to like that kind of stuff. Uh, one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. It is your home. Well, I guess we can bypass this. So here we are. So let's open up the players menu. Welcome back. I don't know what we need. Oh, let's look at what we need to do here. Alligators. Anthony Foreman missions. And foods eaten and distance traveled. Well, we're a long way from Valentine, so we need to kill an alligator. There will be alligators right here. Let's find out. There's one. So we'll go take this back over and put on a horse and if anybody's interested in and in hanging out and, and chat and talking to me and let me know some things to do. Who's that? Why's a turtle? I will, uh, I'll go ahead and spend the money on some gold and open up the, uh, trader and the outlaw pass and then we'll get started and y'all can help me how to figure out to do the rest of it. Yeah, 
just realized my headphones were on backwards, and I swear everything sounded like they were in the wrong place. Alright, let's find where the hitchin is. It's over here. Alright, well we'll call this an episode and um, if you want to hang out, like I said, leave comments and on this Let's get to know each other. You take care of yourself. Until next time, be safe out there.